Hello Anglophonians and welcome to another episode where I nearly didn't mention that you should subscribe, you should leave a like and you should tell your friends so that I hit this 8 billion million something subscriber mark. I do a special, promised. Um, but today we take another look at the European comic culture and we are again dealing with something new. This series is called Gilles Jordan or Gilles Jourdan um, as in the original French language. What is Gilles Jordan? Uh, don't worry, you will learn more about it. This episode is called Libellule Escapes. Before we look at the beginning of the story about Gilles Jordan, let's first address the question of who created this comic series in the first place. That was the Belgian comic artist Maurice Tillieux, born on August 7, 1921 in Uy in Wallonia. He originally wanted to pursue a career in the merchant navy. However, the Second World War put a stop to his plans. He then started writing novels. At the same time, he produced small comics and gags for various newspapers. After the end of the war, his chance came when Edition Esseo wanted to produce a comic magazine. The title of this magazine was Heroic Album. The first issue was published on November 1st, 1945. In 1947, Tillieu began working at Heroic Album. His first series for the magazine was Bob Bang. The stories were about the titular adventurer, and the drawing style, as you can see, is very much influenced by the Lindy Claire, as for example drawn by Hergé. In 1949, Tillieu began the series Felix. Felix was a police reporter turned private detective. As the series progressed, two other characters were added to his side. The helper Alum Gas and Inspector Alonso Cabares from the Chilean police. You can compare Felix's career a little with that of Tintin. Felix is actually a reporter, but instead of writing reports on crimes, he prefers to fight the criminals himself. From 1949 to 1956, Tillieu wrote and drew Felix's stories without interruption, and that he came up with a total of 67 stories. Felix's career came to an abrupt end when Heroic Albums was cancelled in 1956. Since Tillieu had already worked part-time for Spirou magazine, he now moved there. However, copyright reasons prevented him from continuing the Felix series, so he quickly invented a new character, Gilles Jourdain. Gilles wasn't supposed to be a reporter, but rather a former law student who runs his own detective agency. The first story was published in Spirou number 962 on September 20th, 1956, and ran in episodes until March 1957. Gilles Jordan's style was a little different from the more comic-like stories we knew from Spirou. Heroic Album was a magazine aimed at older teenagers. Felix's stories were sometimes quite brutal and dealt with very serious topics such as police corruption and the like. You can still see this with Gilles Jordan, but it is mixed with sarcastic humor and slapstick. Like Felix, Gilles Jordan will also have two companions and a secretary. But all of this is brought to our attention in the course of the first story. If you look closely, you can even recognize the constellation of characters from Felix. We have the hero, a companion, a Lumgas, and an inspector, Cabares. For Gilles, that would be Libellul and inspector Jules Hannibal Croton. The first story then begins with Inspector Croton. He has just picked up notorious burglar André Papignol, better known by his nickname Libellul, French for Dragonfly, from prison. During his last break-in, Libellul stole the jewels of a well-known lady. 
Although it was possible to prove that Le Belul committed the crime, it has not yet been possible to reconstruct how Le Belul managed to commit the theft. Furthermore, the jewels have since then disappeared. Croton now wants to go back to the crime scene with Le Belul and reconstruct everything. He also wants Le Belul to finally tell where he hid the jewels. So that the two of them don't have to walk so far, they stop a taxi. However, the journey is not without problems. The taxi stops because the engine apparently breaks down. Coton has to get out to push the car, which he succeeds in doing. However, the supposed taxi accelerates and disappears, leaving Coton behind. Libelul is confused when the driver explains to him he is still Jordan, the owner of a detective agency, and he needs someone like Libelul to work for him. At first, Libelul is not at all enthusiastic because he doesn't want to do honest work. But Gilles manages to convince him and explains to him what he plans to do. He is on the trail of a gang of drug smugglers and wants to hunt them down. Libelul is not very fond of drug smugglers and agrees to help Gilles. As a first step, Libelul returns the stolen jewels to their rightful owner. Meanwhile, Croton has fallen out of favor with his boss. Since the boss is being harassed by the press and his own superior, he has Croton transferred as a punishment to the narcotics squad of all places. Meanwhile, Jill shows Libelul how far his investigation has progressed. He has rented a hotel room from which he and his secretary Queue de Ceris, Cherry Stem, observe an Italian drug dealer. When he goes to dinner, Gilles and Libellul take the opportunity to search his room. They find tickets for a boat passage on a ship called Volturno, which will leave for Genoa a day later. Gilles and Libellul want to follow him. At the same time, Croton starts his new job with a narcotic squad. Of course, people there are also concerned that drug smuggling has increased sharply for some time. Croton is now supposed to travel by ship to Genoa to coordinate with the Italian authorities there. The ship is the Volturno and Croton is supposed to monitor the drug smuggler traveling on the ship. When Gilles and Libellul arrive at the harbor, they discover Croton. At first they are able to outwit him because he should not see Libelul, but he also manages to get aboard the Volturno. Now Gilles and Libelul must accomplish the feat of following the drug smuggler while avoiding Croton discovering them. Fun fact, since the stories about Gilles Jourdain take place in France, Inspector Croton is of course a French police officer. The French censors didn't like the fact that he was portrayed as incompetent so the first Jill Jordan comics were not allowed to be published in France. And if someone makes a comparison between Inspector Croton and Inspector Clouseau, that doesn't quite fit. For one thing, Croton predates Clouseau. Libellule Escapes was released in 1956. The Pink Panther, the first film to feature Inspector Clouseau, was released in 1963. Secondly, Clouseau is quite incompetent and also gets on the nerves of his superiors. But in the end, Clouseau is always somehow successful. With Croton it's different, at least in the first stories. Gilles Jordan really stands out from the Spirou comics we've seen so far. The tone is more serious and even if Tillieu uses a lot of humor, this is always balanced by other elements of the story. In the first story, for example, Libellul has to save the life of his new boss and the plans that Jill has made don't work out as smoothly as he thought. The story ends with a kind of cliffhanger and goes straight into the next episode. But that is another story and will be told another time. So there you have it. Jill Jordan. Jill Jordan or Gilles Jourdain. Let's stick with Gilles Jordan. Yeah, another European comic series. Next time we take another look at the Europa Park and then at another comic series. Until then, take good care of yourself and see you.